video July 23rd August 22nd I will kill the motorcycle guy outside because he's making too much noise he's go uh Leo is the purple sign this the color and sign of royalty. Their number is one and its singularity. It takes on the leadership quality. Leos are usually perfecting the themes. See Sylvia's book. Souls Perfection for a list of all 45 themes. I will read this. In, I'll give you all 30, 45 themes. Um, another book. Actually, I'm in the middle of this book. I never really finished it. I should probably start it over. That's another video. Um, of activists, cause fighters, manipulators, and loners. They have a determination of will that carries them far. Leos have been given an unfair shot by being told constantly that they're pompous. Actually, they have a tremendous amount of insecurity which makes them bark loudly. I feel that the Leo can be very be a very, very addictive personality. It's badly afflicted. But I think that their insecurity drives them to this addiction, also to overachieve. Leos have a strong degree of fidelity, possibly the strongest in the zodiac. They become totally, totally hurt and disemboweled by broken relationships, and they take guilt totally upon themselves because of any break in a close relationship. Leos have a way of saying things with a very sarcastic flair, but they're totally honest and justice minded as our and justice minded as our Libras. Leos are very health oriented. They never want to be non functional. A lot of signs share this worry in their mind, but Leos will also worry about this in their body. They go along with the old idea a healthy body, a healthy mind. At times they can be very obsessive about health and nutrition, also to the point of hypochondria. However, they're not continually obsessed with their health, only at certain times. There is nothing sadder than disappointed Leos unless it is heart cancers, who, as I told you, make you feel tremendously guilt when you've, you're, you emotionally injure them. But a Leo can become wrathful if someone they love is hurt, even a slight hurt. All of the fire signs are like this. They will turn to you and say, what did you mean by that? when you said they can say things to others but God help you if you say it to them if you ever fight and get into a fight with you want a fire sign right beside you you do not want any other sign except maybe a cancer Leos can spot flattery but they can also accept construction constructive and destructive criticism they simply evaluate what is said Leos will barge right into conversation because they're so afraid of forgetting something and don't leave a Leo in the dark about anything. They don't like it at all. You will also find them being possessive about what they have but not stingy. Leos will usually be found dealing in the mind area and psychology and the like, although they don't get into it in, it in depth like a Sagittarius or Aries does. But the Aries should work with handicapped people because they go over things so many times. Leos are very intelligent and this is not a slur, but they have a little bit about a lot of, they know a little bit about a lot of things. This makes them great conversationalists. They love parties. There is nothing more attentive than a Leo who feels you have something to say. If Leos like you, they will put you on a pedestal. They are lovers of children and underdogs. They have a way of telling everyone else about the person they love, but they rarely direct these emotions to the loved one. They feel that it would make them more vulnerable. So when their loved one comes around, they say, I heard that you said what you said about me, and Leo, the Leo will say, yeah, you're okay. But when talking to a third party, they will eulogize the, you. Leos usually marry for keeps and they're very idealistic about marriage. If they marry more than once, they will carry the burden of the failure of the broken marriage for years. Leos usually want to take their children everywhere with them. All fire signs are that way. If they are invited to a function, they ask, can the kids come too? Leos long for material gain, but often they do not want to work too hard or climb that ladder for it. Leos don't like jobs that get their hands dirty. They do not like abject, abject poverty either. Although they work to help the world, they will not get knee-deep in the dirty clean-up clean jobs in the ghetto. 
They would rather earn money from afar than send it to the poor. Leos hate to lie, and usually they avoid it at all costs. God help you if you lie to Leo. They take this as a personal affront, and this sets up a vicious circle because then you tell more lies to the Leo so that you don't get in trouble for the first one. Leos take pride in their accomplishments. They always want their companions and children to be well groomed, looking as nice as possible. They also want their homes to look nice, but paradoxically, they don't want to spend any money to get all of this done. Figure that out if you can. You cannot push bad merchandise off on Leos. They are too shrewd. Even when buying a car, they will not think a thing of asking the dealer to show them their original invoice. My mom's a Leo. I think she was a horse trader in her last life when she goes to buy new cars. Anyways, Leos love the outdoors and all forms of nature. Most Leos have green thumbs and work well outside. They can make anything grow. Leos are also enjoy games. They really hate to lose and sometimes to keep peace is advantages to let the Leo win or any fire sign for that matter. Leos are very patriotic. Mother John Wayne and apple pie. You can really never find a Leo being subversive and they're not really bigoted either. They don't approve of that type of thing at all. Leaves are very spiritual, even if not structured in religious norms. Leaves have a brilliant sense of humor, even if it does not even often border on the Don Rickles style. They can be so winning, though, that you find yourself laughing at yourself. Leaves can also good naturally be, brunt, be the brunt of a joke. Leaves have tempers, but usually it rises out of a deep hurt rather than out of malice. They also tease unmercifully, but they stop it even if even one tear is shed. Leos are very moralistic, and rarely do you hear a Leo coming out with a graphic joke about sex. They will laugh, but they will not tell it themselves. They do not take well to the, the tacky or tawdry in life. It upsets them. Leos have a strong tendency to question you at length, to bribe reason for you your actions or to explain why you said such and such. This is not being nosy as much as it is just an innate curiosity. Leos will take a big crisis very well, but it is the small and significant situation that offers signs taken stride that will totally put a Leo off. Nothing disturbs a Leo as much as having to deal with mechanical gadgets that do not work. They will start do-it-yourself projects and will feel utterly defeated if it does not quite go right. Leos will also obsess at length about why they, they're not better and comparison factors with other people will rise up. Look at so-and-so. She is the same age as I am and look how far she has gone. But this is not a martyred attitude like the Cancer would take on, although as I said, Cancers have been badly discriminated against. We would say they have a martyred attitude because they are so easily hurt. Therefore, people like think they are martyred. It's just that they are hurt all the way down to the bone. When you hurt a cancer, it is bone deep. Leos do not have a martyred attitude, but they do have a genuine concern about their positions in life. They seem to look at other people as their progressive guideposts. Leos' voices are magnificent, and they always sound as if they could sing beautifully. So when you get Leos on the phone, they will always have a resonant voice. You will never hear a Leo squeaking. Even the females have a very deep, resonant voice or a very mellow one. Their signs are the the squeakers. I'm a squeaker. Great. Theos have a strong flair for the dramatic, not in the Sarah Bernhardt way, which is for the Pisces, but they have a flair for a correct entrance or a powerfully developed, delivered orientation on a certain subject. If you watch Leos, you will see that they pick a time that is just right. Leos are also good debaters and they love to weave a trap around the people they're doing battle with. They can buy most standards, be very weird, but you figure them, you forgive them because there's no mal malicious intent. They will simply state, why should I speak to th them when I don't like what they stand for? Leo make males are not threatened by females, and conversely, female Leos are not threatened by males. Neither one really understands how anyone can be threatened by the opposite sex. That is why liberation movements baffle Leos. They already believe they are liberated, and rightly so. Leos usually answer through their own instincts. They are highly psychic, and they are of natural precogn precognitive abilities. Not so much about people, 
as about events. Now, of course, people are attached to events, but when they're psychically reading, they will see more events rather than people coming into life, but both sides can be developed. Physical characteristics. Leos tend to have trouble with their backs. For some reason, their backs narrow at the lower spine. In other words, they have very thick upper vertebrae, and as you get down to the lumbar area, it can become very thin. This can put a great deal of stretch on the lower back, and like many Libras, they will have a sway back. Leaders are so very neurologically prone, especially if they don't let out all their energies, let all of their energies out. Leaders have an angular structure, but they're beautifully formed. They have beautiful eyes, and you're pulled to look directly into them. That's why Leos would make a good hypnotist, although they don't stare at you the way Piscinians do. That is it for Leos, and I'm going to rest my voice, and I will see you in a month with Virgo.